Hi everybody, this is Barbara Mayerson from joinsuccess.com and I'm with Madison King today. She's from London and or England and uh, I love my international people and all you guys know I love to do international people. Although if you're in England, you're not international, but if you're in the States, you're international. Anyway, um, I want to welcome you, Madison, for being here today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. I really am. Oh, great, great. Um, you know, you do a lot of energy work, which I love. And I want you to just explain how you got started and um, how long you've been doing it and what you do. And, and just let's hear your, your intro. Okay, well, back in the mists of time, literally decades ago, um, I was a body worker. Well, first of all, first of all, I used to make television commercials many, 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 many years ago. Oh, wow. And I left that because I just felt, I just didn't think my life was going to be about, you know, such materialistic things. I knew there should be something. So I became a bit of a course junkie and I really studied all the physical therapies, you know, reflexology, massage, aromatherapy, nutrition, all of this, searching, searching, searching. And one day I met the most amazing woman by pure synchronicity called Donna Eden. And listening to her talk, I thought, this woman is talking exactly what I feel, what I think, what I'm searching for. And so in no time at all, it was before the days of internet, we're talking like, I don't know, 35 years ago or something. Mm -hmm. You know, um, before I knew it, it started me off on this little abundance thing. Okay, I had no money, but I knew I had to get to the West Coast of America to study with Donna Eden, this amazing thing called energy medicine. And so I did. And had lots of lovely stories of abundance on how I managed to go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards to America. And I just studied with Donna and in, I was one of her first students. And in those days, it was in her backyard in, in Ashland, Oregon. And it was absolutely fun. We didn't even have a handout. It was just sheer fun. But it has grown from that a lot. And I started my practice and I've been teaching her work for all those years now. Um, and then what was very exciting, Barbara, was, uh, I don't know, gosh, seven or eight years ago, um, she asked me to set up the European side of her training. Wow. Based just outside of London. And natural fact, last week, we just finished um, a big online teacher's training class. And to see, you know, all these people now coming through who are getting trained in energy medicine to sort of go out and share with their loved ones, their communities, you know, because it's something you can take it to any level you want. You know, you can just say, I just want some energy medicine to use on myself. I want to empower my self care, or it could be for your loved ones. I specialize in animals as well. I use energy mm. medicine for animals. Um, or you can think I'm going to become a practitioner. You know, and then you've got various levels of practitioner status, and then you can even become a teacher. So what I love about it, it has this wonderful Eden energy medicine, the, the, the um, Eden method, has this wonderful energy of its founder, Donna Eden. Um, but people can take it, as I say, to whatever level they want. You know, so... That, that's great, yeah. And it is a, it's an Aladdin's cave. I'm sure so many of you know that... You know, when you walk into this area, you never start learning. And whilst I'm supposed to be a teacher, in reality, I always think of myself as a perpetual student of energy. I really do. Yeah. So that's me in a big nutshell, Barbara. Well, well, that's great. I mean, yeah, I know um, Don is great and I've been watching her stuff. And, um, and I, I think like anything that she does, like you learning how to do it. And it's just, and it is, it's a lot of fun. It's just, it's it's not one of these heavy things that you have to dig into your subconscious and everything. You just easily do it. And um, I, I know like when we had first talked about you were doing um, abundance, more was like putting the toilet tank down, seat down. And um, so you're gonna give us all kinds of tips and tricks of what we can do to increase our abundance today, <laughs> which we all need, no matter where we are in life. Yes, I thought, I mean, there's so many areas you can, <laughs> exactly, there's so many areas you can go into with energy medicine, but 
you know, everything that's going on at the moment, you know, a lot of people are having a tough time and everything. And so I thought it might be um, really useful wherever you are, whatever, whatever state your finances are in, um, to look at bringing abundance into life because it's not just about money. You know, it is about abundance of all good things, you know. Right. But if we did look at money, um, energy medicine can help you align your energies to prosperity. How do, how okay, do so it? what I thought I'd do with you. No, I was just thinking. I'm sorry, like, Barbara. Like, what, before you get into what you're going to do, but like, how does like people like can get abundance, get money through doing energy work like this? You know, people think they have to work really hard and they have to do a lot of really hard things. So how can this work for people to get money? Well, I'm going to share a load of, a load of tips with you. And what I would encourage you to do is just, you'll hear what you need to hear mm -hmm. from me today. And just think, you know what, she, that, I, don't, I don't really like that tip. That doesn't resonate with me, but that one does. You know, and actually do some of this work the, you have to do it all just just cherry pick those things which resonate with you you think that sounds fun i'm going to do it and um the thing is the secret to abundance through energy work is knowing the tools although they're very simple but actually doing it consistently mm -hmm. and the results of more money more opportunities to earn money or whatever it could be for example, you just find a dollar or a euro or a pound in the street or something, you know, but it's all signs that the energy is beginning to shift mm. and, you know, there's going to be less financial struggle in your life. You know, abundance can enter. I mean, there's so many things you can do, but I, let's keep it simple and just do the things you feel attracted to. And... and Okay, how long? People often ask me, what do I see, you know, <laughs> um, results or something. Yeah? Sometimes it's you walk out the next day and you find some money on the pavement or you get something arrived through the post or, you know, I've had so many stories. It's one of the reasons why I love teaching this because I get stories of things happening instantly, like the next oh. hours. And sometimes it takes, you know, two or three months to work. But you know, sooner or later, if you're consistent, you'll see results, okay? And I will share lots of little fun things with you, like, you know, put down the toilet seat and everything. But there's one fundamental thing that you have to look at, okay? I'm saying choose, but I really want everyone to, to do this one with me. Because whilst your conscious mind is thinking, yes, of course, I want to have money. Let's, let's just, just focus on money at the moment. Yes, of course I want to have money. Otherwise, why would I be listening to you, Maddie King? You know, there could be something outside of your conscious control that is saying, no, 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 no. You, you don't want to be rich. You don't want to be wealthy. That, that brings nothing but problems. So this little mini me, I call it, you know, that area outside your conscious control somehow has become programmed to believe that having money being rich, being wealthy, whatever you want to term it, is not good for your survival. Mm. Who knows where that came from? It doesn't matter. It could be a chance remark when you were a child. It could be a past life. It could be something you read a, a year or so ago. It could be anything. But something has got your little mini me thinking, no, no, no. So whatever you do to you know, increase your prosperity is not going to work. Or if it does work, it won't hold because mini me has immense power to undermine and sabotage wow. your efforts. Wow. Okay. So uh, let's assume that everyone has a little mini me sabotaging them at the moment. And if your mini me is not sabotaging you, you can still do this now because it will just strengthen it. Okay. So if you just take your left hand, put it over your heart area, Okay, so you are connecting here to heart energy because everything we do is for even money isn't evil. You know, there is that thing of mon money's the root of all evil. It's what we do with it is the problem. Now, more than ever, 
money is just electronic it's just energy okay mm -hmm. so we want to work from heart energy when we're working with money so we just connect to our heart with our left hand then with our middle finger of our right hand we're just going to tap this area below the ring finger and the little finger so you're just tapping that vibration is going between, through your... in between these two fingers sorry in between these two fingers yes between the ring finger and the little finger okay. okay so you have your hand over your heart your left hand over your heart your right hand the middle finger of your right hand is just going to tap at the base of your ring finger and little finger of your left hand okay okay that's a triple warmer point basically it's an acupressure point which is to do with stress so you're tapping now to remove some of stress to bring you into a temporary state of balance whilst you can say any affirm any statement you want but it must start with it is now safe so we could say um it is now safe for me to have plenty of money you know whatever you want it is now safe for me to earn plenty of money it is now safe for money to come to me with ease whatever play with the words whichever whatever sentence is good for you but you're tapping here and for half a dozen times you could say it is now safe for money to come easily to me it is now safe for me to align my energies with prosperity so in your own time just take whatever words feel good to you it is now safe for me to be a wealthy woman it is now safe for me to be a wealthy woman. And you smile as you do that, which is releasing endorphins. And little mini me is now thinking, oh, all right then, maybe that is. Because you calmed her down with the tapping, connecting to your heart, you're smiling. There's lots more you can do. This is really the basic, but it, it really is. It will really work. And what I encourage you to do is to put a little post-it note in your bathroom mirror by your desk in your car you don't have to write anything on it but every single time you see that post-it note you either it is now safe it's now safe for me to be a wealthy woman whatever it is and if you're with company you don't have to tap you can just in your head say it so if you're at the bank if you're especially if you're at the bank okay and you're queuing at the bank you're just standing at the bank thinking Yep, it's now safe for me to be a wealthy woman. Money loves me. I love money and money loves me. It comes to me so easily. I love <laughs> That's that. That's mantra we used to say. So th this is calming down that mini me doing this. It's calming down the mini me because if mini me has an issue around, it's not going to listen to you. It's like a child. If you say it's okay, it's okay. It's safe to be a wealthy woman. Mini me is going, no, 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 not listening, not listening, not listening. That's basically, okay, energetically. I'm writing this down, it is not safe. Okay, but if you start talking to, to your body energetic, energetically um, by tap, uh, connecting to heart, when you tap over this area, with or without that hand, you're tapping the thymus gland, which energetically puts you into a state of balance. So immediately, Mini-Me is feeling happy. You're smiling, so you've got the endorphins, temporary state of balance with the thymus gland, connecting to heart, triple warmer. All these little things add together to, to persuade Mini-Me to listen to what you're saying and then to feel safe around money. And that's why whatever sentence you have, you need to start it with, it is now safe. So you're in the present tense and you're talking about safety. I, I think the safety is, is so okay, key. Now, yes, there's two, th there's two things, Barbara. There is safety, which is the, the real one that a lot of people stumble on. And there is one which is the slight nuance of that is I deserve. Mm -hmm. I now deserve. So I am worth it. I deserve it. And that one does come up. So if you find, I mean, please judge this. Okay. Give it a few weeks, but please judge it. Does abundance come into your life? And if you think, well, I've done everything she said and it's not coming in, just shift it. 
give it a chance to work. Just shift it to, I now deserve, or I'm worth it, you know, because sometimes that, that one is um, a very, a big issue for some people. At the same time, you know, tapping? When, when, you're, when you're saying I'm worth it, or I deserve it, you still tap? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. You can tap or you just hold your heart. You can hold your heart and your womb area and breathe. It's whatever calms you down. If you, um, if you think about it, we go, oh, my God. You know, this is a bit, you have two very calming points on here. So we instinct. That's what I love about energy medicine so much of it we do instinctively anyway you don't really have to learn anything right? Right. but you just hold that point and hold your heart or hold that point and hold your womb what feels better and then you can say i now really deserve to have money i now really deserve to be a rich and wealthy woman i love money and money loves me whatever you want okay but it is doing something that calms you down that puts you into that a tranquil and serene state because when you are like in that state your mini me will listen to you otherwise it's all nee, 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 nee. not listening so you're, that's you're, a technical term nee, 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 nee. <laughs> you're just calming it down i i love that that's like you know like i know like um i have listened to dana once and she said like do this and i do a lot of tapping and she said don't do this but being able to say I am worthy of the money. I am now safe. Yes. I'm now safe to be because I didn't connect that with the money thing. Yes. No. You, very much so. Very much so. That's great. So then, yes. after doing this, or so we do this to calm our mini me down. Then, are there, uh, are there, so once she yes, calms you down, is there other things to do? No, that's it. That's all. <laughs> There's so many things. There's so many things. Um, but that is, I would say, everyone do that because then you're not pushing water uphill. Then I think the main problem I see is people don't have clarity. So you might say, oh, I just want money, all right? Um, or I want to be rich. And that's fine, but it's very general. Whereas you could, if you strip it back, you know, and get very clear and specific on what you want, you know, with clarity, um, so why do you want money? You know, it, it, being wealthy is not having millions in the bank and worrying about losing it. I believe that having, um, being, aligning your energy to prosperity is about truly believing that what you need will come in. Mm -hmm. And the universe or whoever it is up there gets very creative in how they bring it in. So you might say, okay, why do you want money? You know, for me personally, just to give you an idea, I like to earn mon as much money as I can with the least possible work. Okay, now that sounds, oh, well, she's a real spoiled little princess, isn't she? But at my time of life, I want time. My currency is time. So I don't want, I don't need millions in the bank. I need the belief that when I need money, it will come in, which mm -hmm. it always does. And I live a very, very simple life. I don't need fast cars or loads of jewelry or anything like that. But my currency is time. So as long as I can earn enough that I don't worry when the bills come in, I have faith and I therefore I don't worry about, you know, the future of financial things. Somehow it always works. And I do have the time to walk my dogs for a couple of hours in the morning and not worry um, to have, well, not with COVID, but before COVID, you know, leisurely lunch with friends or something. Nothing terribly expensive, but that is, I'm very clear on what I want. Mm -hmm. I don't want to worry when bills come in, you know, I just, mm -hmm. I want to have that belief. So just be very clear on what you're asking. Um, there's a great little point on, if you rub, it's called, it's the eighth point on the heart meridian. That doesn't matter. Okay. But it helps give you access to what do you really want? Because sometimes you might say, well, I want this. But why do you want that, Barbara? You know, maybe everyone's told you that that's a really good thing to have. You've been programmed, but maybe you don't really want that. Mm -hmm. So if you put your hand, if you clench your hand, where your little finger lands roughly is the eighth 
point on the heart meridian, which doesn't matter, don't have to remember that. Just remember that general area, you rub it and you're gonna do it on both hands. And you just go, you take a few deep breaths and you just think, just give me clarity. What do I really want in life? Mm. What do I really want in life? Mm. What my mum says, my husband says, my children say, the television says, the politician. What do I really want? And you just do that for 30 seconds and then you do it on the other hand. Find the point. It doesn't have to be exact. You're not putting a needle in. And I'm massaging quite firmly and I'm smiling whilst I'm asking give me clarity on what I really want and just relax and trust that your thought process will take you to what you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that is what you want money for because most of the time money buys us what we want. You may want to help a charity. You need money for that probably. Yes, you can go and, and help them physically, but you need to earn money, you know, to give you the time to go and help them. So when you strip it back, most things, whether it's education, whether it's charity, whether it's a lovely wedding for your daughter, whatever it is, um, most of the time money can buy it. Money doesn't buy you happiness. We know that. But, you know, if you trace it back and there's also being really comfortable with thinking that way you know money isn't the root of all evil it can be the source of so much good and i think um, when people think like they want money they it's more out of desperation so your idea instead of like feeling desperate i wanted to pay for my daughter's wedding or i wanted to pay on it for a trip and so instead of looking at money but what can it do for me? what do i want it to do yes yes Yes, I align myself. If you just think I align myself with prosperity, I am going to have enough money for the most fantastic wedding for my daughter and the honeymoon, you know. So, and it's, it's lightness. And someone once said to me many, many years ago, when you put forward a statement or you ask for something, you do it with all your attention and all your belief. And then you sort of set it off. You pull the arrow, you know, you release it. When the arrow's gone, you just let it go and believe it's coming. Yeah. And one of the ways you can do that is after you've said your affirmations for the day, just say, thank you. Thank you. Do you think it's coming? Thank I know you. it's coming. I don't know how it's coming, but it's coming. Or when. Or, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And also they do take you up to the... Um, the 11th hour sometimes, but I've had the most amazing story, most amazing things happen to me um, by doing these, these, um, these exercises. A very good example is um, a number of years ago, um, it was, and um, this is like, you know, this, it's a message from someone. Um, I, I wrote a book on abundance. Money is not a four letter word, okay? The mm. whole sort of attitude towards money. And the day I sent the manuscript to the, the publisher, the very day I received a letter informing me that in my advertising days, all those decades before, I had paid into a particular pension, which I never came out of in America, and with an American advertising agency. And, oh, you're an old girl now. You're retired. What do you want? We've got this money for you. What do you want? Wow. Now, first of all, have you ever heard of an American pension company tracking down someone through the UK no. government system, oh. writing to me saying, got this, what do you want? You know, normally you have to go knocking on the door. And, you know, I sat there and I thought, my God, the day I send that off to the, manus the manuscript off, the day this letter comes in, how can I ever doubt that I'm not looked after when I work with the energies of money? Yeah, you know? I mean, that's so, maybe a lot of people do doubt and, um, or they expect it right away. If, you, if they do the exercise, well, where's the money? So they have to just yes. like back off and just. The other thing is, I would say, it's a very, very good point, Barbara, because you can do all of this, you know, oh, it's safe for me to be a rich woman now, and you can just sit down and maybe something will happen. But you do have to sort of help the universe. Like if you want to win the lottery, you better buy a lottery ticket, you know? Okay. So. You do all you can. So if, for example, due to the situation now um, and you don't have a job, okay, you may be out of work or something, 
temptation is to sit there and I'll tap and nothing's happened. But where it helps you when you go halfway and you think, okay, I'm going to get my CV out. I'm going to make some phone calls. I'm going to talk to everyone I know asking, hey, you know, I need a job, whatever. Um, and you put the energy into it. It's almost like something bigger than us takes that energy. And somehow, in a very creative way, there will be a job there for you. And you will look back with hindsight and think, I can't believe that happened. Thank, oh, I'm so glad I spoke to that man in the bread shop or in the supermarket or something. You know, So we, we do put our energy in. It's all an exchange of energy. But it's also bringing in something else you know so that, just that. like go to the universe so the universe if you're doing action the universe might know what to do or i mean i'm sure it knows what to do but you need to do an action too you can't just sit there and and tap yes. and expect it to show up and also the universe is quite if we call it the universe it can be quite um judgmental in a way okay so i said to you earlier on you may find in the next week you, you're walking on the street and you find i don't know a 10p bit you know a dollar or a cent or something you know and if you don't pick it up the universe saying well we've sent her money and she's she's not she's not picking it up she obviously doesn't want it or someone says um you go out for a coffee with a friend and they say oh i'll pay for this and you say no 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 i'll pay for it you know and the universe again thinks well we're offering her something the coffee and she's rejecting it so when you first start doing this in those first weeks, accept everything that's given, whether it's a coin on the pavement, the sidewalk, or whether someone offers to buy you a cup of coffee or something, accept it and say, thank you. And in your head go, thank you. you know? And then the universe, oh, she's serious. Yes, she, we heard her right. She does want money. Yeah. And I, then, I think, you know, things I know. get. I, I was out to lunch the other day with a friend and she bought me lunch and she paid for it. And instead of saying, oh, no, 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 I said, oh, thank you. And well done. And she gave me a gift and I said, thank you. Thank you. Um, and um, yeah, and I, I think a lot of the time, like, because it's, it's not money coming to us, but a free lunch, although it's very nice, we think like, well, but it's not going to pay my bills. So we discard it. We don't make a big thing of it instead That's of true. making a big thing of it and saying how fabulous it was. Yes. And it's symbolic. It really is, you know. Um, something's been given to us we didn't have to buy that food then you know or make that food or anything so yes it is um, and always being grateful always saying thank you and acknowledging it yeah and, and I'm just having fun with it just having fun it is having fun with it you know and there's a lightness of being and just changing your belief you know being rich is not having millions in the bank because then you really do get into that thing of I'm really frightened of losing it now. Okay, there is a freedom if you begin to develop that belief what I need will come to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good to have a cushion, and that may be when you're doing your clarity of, you know, I know my personality and I actually do want to build a nest egg, I do want enough money in the bank that if I can't work, I can live for six months or a year or something, you know, without worrying. And that's very clear. That's very specific. And so, you know, you can ask for that. It is, you know, it's all fine saying, oh, I believe everything's going to come to me. But when you first start doing it, um, it's very hard to truly believe that. But if you look around you, if you're consistent, Barbara, with all these things that I'm going to off uh, a couple more things now and you do them suddenly you see things happening and it's so much easier to have belief in it yeah. so I would say to anyone who's sitting there thinking oh, yeah whatever you know try it doesn't cost you anything at all and it could make you much more comfortable in life that's so that's so great do you have we're almost out of time but do you have a couple more tips for us Oh, I'll give you little tips. Okay. These are things I always do. Lose seat down. You've already said that, Barbara. That's fantastic. But the other thing as well is always have, I always have a red purse. Okay. But some people say a green one is for prosperity, but I like red and I always get someone to buy it for me. And I buy them a gift, you know, 
and it should never be empty. And the other thing which I've always had, I'm going to show you all now because this is really old. You take the highest denomination note that you have. And this I did more than 30 years ago. And it's an old 20 pound note. That's all I had in my purse. And you wrap it up in red paper. And as you're wrapping it up, you just think my purse is always going to be so full of money and abundance comes easily to me. Slip that in your purse and forget about it. Wow. The, the other thing I have in my purse, which I'm never without, have I gotten them here? Have I got them here? Never in my purse have I got them here. Three things. A citrine, which is a, a citrine crystal, mm. which is like a yellow, it's not expensive abundance in your purse other things bring it but that is your purse will never be empty the other thing is you can get these um they don't cost very much that you can see how old and worn they are but they're just three little um chinese coins with holes in with the red again red thing purse will never be empty and this one i have you have three coins the same Near where I live, we have a Roman, old Roman ruin, and these are three old Roman coins. And they say if you have three coins the same, it means you will spend your money wisely. It's not that you're going to be, you, tight, 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 you know, um, because that's another thing. It is an energy and it needs to go out and it needs to come in. So those of you who like spending money, you know, it's quite nice because you can let it go because you know it's going to come in again. But with wisdom with wisdom so those are some little things another thing i have is i always put my broom and my mop away you know um because they say that um you don't want to leave your broom or cleaning things out because it's going to otherwise clear money out of your house um I always make sure my plumbing's working because water can wash away your your wealth um so there are Oh, the other thing I do have is when you walk in a room or when you walk in your house, I do this. Okay, I walk through my front door. Over to the left, the far left corner of the room or of the house is your wealth corner. And I always have something in that corner, wherever I am, that represents wealth or the growth of wealth. It can be a plant. It can be, um, I look over um, there and I've got a little oriental frog you'll see them they're, they're cheap as chips you know with a little coin in his mouth or you can have a plant or you do put your, denom your highest denomination note wrapped up in red in the corner you put it in and say this is my wealth corner and it's gonna grow and grow and grow you know so oh, I like that one i like yeah like putting something um over by that corner just the red uh, the, the highest den denomination i like that one Yes, because then you trust, you think, ooh, ooh, that's a bit painful, you know, <laughs> that's a lot of money. And you think, no, that's fine, because it's all going to come back again. It's a really positive um, message to the universe, if you want. I trust it's all coming back and more. I love that. I mean, I'm feeling so much more positive right now and just like going to be doing some of these. And I know all you guys are going to, you have to try them, do it, what Maddie said and just... Uh, you know, they'll turn things around no matter where you're feeling. At least have fun with it. Just enjoy it. And, you know, and don't take it too seriously. But just have fun with it. And um, thank you so much, Mandy. This was so much fun. It's been a real, real pleasure. It really has. And I wish wealth and prosperity and happiness to everyone. Just do it. Please do it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And, and just listen to Maddie and and um, listen to this all, you know, just keep on listening to it. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. And um, see you next time. Bye-bye.